Namaste. Now we are going to start talking about metabolic intoxication. In the previous videos we spoke about the natural rhythm of life and health in Ayurveda and also about the concept of metabolic process Agni. When we do our metabolic process in a very um, strong and healthy manner, what do we eat gets transformed in good nutrition for our tissues and can be transformed into energy and into new tissues in our body. But in Ayurveda there is a very important concept of inter metabolic intoxication. We call it AMA. A -M -A. And this is the main cause of disease in life. When we eat and we don't have proper digestion, that stuff that is improperly digested starts to intoxicate our body, starts to destroy our body. Usually we think that we, this that is not uh, properly digested is going to be eliminated as tools. But in Ayurveda this is not uh, how it happens usually. Stools are the result of a good metabolism. If, I'm saying, let's be more precise in this. If we have a very good digestion, all the things that are going to be digested are going to be or used to be energy and uh, tissues in our body or is going to be put it out as uh, stools and urine as metabolic wastes. But when we have improper digestion of food, thoughts, emotions, a lot of things, this unprocessed uh, material, it can be food, it can be lettuce, it can be carrot, it can be uh, anything that is healthy, it gets spoiled in our body, it gets rotten in our body, and this intoxicates our body like a venom, like a poison. And this is the root of disease, okay? I'm not saying about uh, metal, uh, heavy metals in the food or uh, pesticides or things that are nauseous for the health. I'm saying about things that can be very healthy and when we don't have the proper digestion of the food, we start to be intoxicated by metabolic intoxication, not environmental intoxication as pollutants of in the air, in the water, and the kind of stuff. These are also important, but in Ayurveda, we have a uh, very golden rule. A good metabolic process, Agni, transforms maybe environmental toxins, anything that is um, going to cause disease in our body, venom, in uh, nutrition. So, a good agni transforms uh, venom, transforms poison, poison in vitality, in life force. A bad digestive process, metabolic process, a bad agni transforms good uh, food, good material of being eaten in metabolic uh, poison, in metabolic venom. I'm not going to say this in Sanskrit, but the point is, in Ayurveda, agni is the mm, uh, most important actor in deciding if what we eat are going to be a healthy output or is going to be a, an unhealthy output. And if you have a very strong digestive capacity and your agony is very strong, even if you eat, uh, drink polluted water, you are not going to be sick. But if you are with a very strong, if you are very weak metabolism, if you eat a, a thing that everyone in the same uh, table eat, uh, eight, you're going to be sick with the lettuce, with the chicken, with the rice and everybody else is not going to be sick with the same thing. So in Ayurveda we have more importance to the agents, not to the field. If you have studied medicine and this kind of stuff, 
our current medicine usually give more importance to the field than to the agent. If the field is polluted, is corrupted, the person is going to get sick because of the field is sick. In Ayurveda, this uh, conception, this worldview is not the correct, the most appropriate one. In Ayurveda, when you have a very strong uh, actor in the field, even if the field is polluted, it can change the nature of the output. I'm not saying that we should be living in polluted fields. I'm only saying that sometimes people that eat uh, spoiled stuff don't get sick. And people that eat um, healthy things get sick because of this concept. Because in Ayurveda, we put more attention to the what happens in the digestive process and what is the output in our digestive process and not in the input into the digestive process. So, going back to the track. In Ayurveda, when we don't have a proper digestion, the material that is not going to be either used in our body as energy, either is going to be used in our body to build up tissues, either is going to be uh, put out from our system as wastes, this another thing called ama is going to poison our metabolic fun functions and this is going to spoil our health this can be the root of allergies this can be the root of cancer this can be the root of any disease in human beings and not only in human beings so um, the point is that when we have these metabolic toxins in our system and when we eat things that are polluted and all this kind of stuff, they are probably going to be uh, not properly digested in our body. It's going to be ama um, also. So if you eat things that are contaminated, this contamination, if it's not uh, burned by your metabolic process, also is going to be ama. Um, also is going to be toxin. It uh, was already a toxin outside the body, but inside the body it continued. Just for the sake of uh, making things a little bit more clear, in Ayurveda there are a lot of medicines that are use, using um, heavy metals. They are pre-digested, they are uh, transformed, they are chemical reactions outside the body. So that inside the body they can be properly digested and can make very strong therapeutic action like, let's say, chemotherapy. It would be the Ayurvedic chemotherapy, um, but it's pre-digested outside, so we can digest this inside, and this can be healthy to our tissues and not um, going to destroy it. In Ayurveda, the most important actor is the metabolic power, Agni, and the biggest villain is Ama, the metabolic uh, intoxication. And I put some bold in this phrase that metabolic intoxication is the root of all diseases according to Ayurveda. And the root of metabolic intoxications is not proper digestion. And the guidelines for having proper digestion, I started talking in the earlier video, we are going to go in into more deep, dive into uh, a little bit more in it in this series. But the point is, if you eat just like a whole wheat bread with like cottage cheese with uh, some spices and you are following all the correct Ayurvedic -like guidelines and you, don't, you are not hungry and you don't have proper digestive cap capacity in that moment, this is going to be worse than junk food that is going to be uh, digested with, uh, it's not so easy to digest junk food, but it can be digested. The point is that it's not actually what you eat. What you eat is important, okay? But in Ayurveda, you're actually what you digest properly and you're healthy, or you don't digest properly and you get sick and you get intoxicated. You are with uh, metabolic toxins. So I, I'm repeating this concept because it's different from our Western point of view. And in Ayurveda, it plays a major role in the disease process. Here we are going to talk much more on the health process, 
because the name of the series is Self Health uh, Ayurveda Management, Self Healing. But uh, to have health, it's important to be with a good digest digestive process and to uh, regain health, to heal the, heal the diseases, we have to digest the metabolic toxins that get accumulated in our, in our body. And we do this by fasting, we do this with herbs, we do this with uh, pranayama, breathing exercises, we do this with a lot of stuff. Okay? So, the root of good digestive process in Ayurveda is a good rhythm between our body and life. The uh, root of having good digestive process is being hungry, being with good appetite and having good digestion. When you follow these basic, very fundamental concepts, you're going to be doing the most important thing to do in our life and have good life. A lot of people don't follow Ayurvedic terms in, the, in life and they're healthy and if you see these principles are working so in Ayurveda you don't need to be eating like Indian lentils to be Ayurvedic it can be but you mainly need to digest life and don't build up metabolic toxins if you do this you're going to be healthy there is other concepts that are going to be important we are going to talk about them soon but uh, to start, please remember, only eat when you're hungry and uh, start to know how to develop your hunger, your hunger when you're not uh, hungry. You need to do sometimes a little bit of fasting, sometimes you need to make some ginger tea and sometimes you need to make some more strange things. Don't worry, we can specify this during consultations because it depends on how your metabolic pattern is working out. But here is to put the guidelines, okay? Once again, if you like this video, please share it, uh, make uh, like uh, and also do your commentaries. If you want to have consultations in my Namaste Coaching Ayurveda Yoga Jyotish program, please contact namaste.tiago at gmail.com like it's written below and uh, I'm going to be very uh, happy to uh, talk to you personally and uh, by internet <laughs> and also uh, so we can develop more this Ayurvedic ground in our daily lives okay see you soon namaste